So what I'm up to today is a real mission. I'm trying to find a gym in Florence. Um, I'm staying with a couch surf on the outskirts of Florence. I don't know if you, if you can hear me. Staying with a couch surf on the outskirts of Florence and he took me to a virgin gym nearby but it was crazy expensive just to do a trial. So I've decided to, I've got my bus. So I've decided to take a little trip into the center of Florence and try and find a gym. They're quite strict with wearing masks here in Florence. Um, so you have to wear a mask whenever you get onto public transport or whenever you go into a shop. Um, so I'm just getting myself ready. I'm here at San Marco Square, if I can just show you that, it's a really cool church there and um, basically now I'm in the city center of Florence and I'm gonna walk to the first gym. I was just chatting to somebody who was saying that gyms in Florence are extremely expensive uh, and he said that his two weeks at a gym was 60 euros um, and so it's not looking great at the moment for finding good value but uh, we're gonna try. Oh, there it is. Success! Success! Okay, I just went in here and I had a look at it. It's called Club Conti in the center of Florence and they've offered me a free trial, which is amazing. Um, Virgin did not offer me a free trial. And we're in. my workout oh my god it feels so good ah oh, it feels so good to be in a gym again like a proper gym um, yeah I just did legs I have tried to film as much as possible but I wasn't always somewhere to put my phone to like film 
this one random guy I asked to film me at one point. It's all good, I feel fantastic. I'm about to go to a vegan restaurant, first vegan restaurant I've tried in Italy with my current host, so the person I'm staying with at the moment. And we'll see how it is. And I did it. I went and did a best value gym session in Florence. Um, I wasn't actually expecting to be able to find it for free after the whole virgin thing, but there we go, free trial. Um, this gym was actually really good, but the monthly cost is um, <clears throat> extremely expensive, so I probably won't be joining. Um, but then again, I've asked around and apparently that's normal here. There isn't like a big gym culture and all the gyms are really expensive. So I'm gonna have to have a little think. Um, maybe I'll try another one and see what happens. But now, food. If anyone's wondering how you can find vegan or vegetarian restaurants when you're traveling, um, it's an app called Happy Cow. It's really good. I just checked to see if I was going in the right direction and uh, <clears throat> I was not. Like it was literally just a right and then another right or something and still I managed to get lost. I'm on the right street now. Ooh, this place is called Flower Burger. I've actually heard about this place as well. It's another vegan place, uh, one of the few actually. So I probably will try that one at some point as well. Um, but today we're going to somewhere called Il Vigano. This is definitely the right road. There it is. Let's have a look. Nice. It's empty. Looks good. I'm also glad they've got some Italian food because Obviously one of the downsides of being vegan is that you don't get to have the authentic, authentic meals with authentic ingredients. But of course, there's a difference between ingredients and flavor. And I'm hoping they've captured authentic flavors with vegan ingredients here. I'm about to try this new drink. Um, he said it's called Shinoto and I have no idea what it is and I have no idea what it's going to taste like It smells really familiar, but I can't tell, I can't really put my finger on it Oh, that's nice. That's very nice um, Yeah, I feel like I've had this flavor before somewhere, but like childhood maybe that's what it tastes like Yum, looks really good. It's got seitan, so really high protein as well. So perfect for a post-workout meal. Oh my god. It's so good. Alright, so halfway got, got... through my meal. Lauren's arrived! <laughs> so this is my host, and I've been with him for how long now? Four like nights? Three, four nights, Ish. Yeah. And today's my last night at his flat, and tomorrow I'm moving into a new place. And this is your first time in a vegan restaurant? I think so, yeah. yeah. Are you going to get anything? No. No? Okay, no pressure, because I'm filming. No pressure. Later, later. Okay, cool. Okay, awesome. Yeah. I don't understand the membership. I mean, if you're a vegetarian, the market for you, the membership's pretty cool. That's normal. That's normal. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So they made a vegan parmesan. How, how is, I mean, I don't know what it's made what's of. What's the vegan cheese made of? Yeah, exactly. It's different things. I think some of them are made of nut milk, so like hazelnut milk. Or oh, yeah, they're, they're so good, yeah. Yeah, or they're made of coconut milk, some of them. So I, I haven't really tried that much vegan cheese, actually. But the ones I've had in restaurants have been really good. Do you want to take a little walk? Yeah. After tired? this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Walk should be good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, architecture that you see in Florence. Uh, okay. Until this palace was built, there have been previous palaces. I will show you maybe some, but more like this one, for example. Yeah. This is also from, I think, from the 15th century, just like that part. Okay. It had a strong personality and uh, a sharp tongue. So he was also harsh in his comments and he made enemies and he actually liked to have enemies because that's one thing that would keep him alive. Okay. Uh, he, he especially liked to have competitors in the field of art because he was an artist. For example, he was a sworn enemy of Raphael in Rome and that's again because he liked this competition with them. Sorry, it wasn't Leo X, it was Clement the Seventh, but you okay. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know either of them. It was still a Okay. It was the second marriage for <laughs> Your Coca-Cola. I mean, your Kinoto. Oh, yeah.